What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at an accessory for a product that we've already reviewed. And this is the Remarkable uh, Typefolio. So um, if you're not familiar, this is kind of the e-ink tablet that basically you can take your notes on. And before this Typefolio came out, all you could do is basically write with their little stylus pen. So this basically gives you the ability now to type um, versus writing. And the writing is really a, a, a smooth effect and it feels like you're writing on an actual tablet. Um, but sometimes, and you can convert your writing to text uh, as a feature of the tablet, but, you know, it's not 100% accurate. It does a great job, so, but, you know, everybody writes differently. My handwriting sucks, so I'm going to challenge any OCR product out there to decipher my handwriting and get it right. So this is kind of a, a nice initiative to basically come out with to just allow you to type, right? And this is a disconnected, you know, you don't connect it to the internet per, per se to browse. Um, it's focused on note taking and it's focused on journaling and just, you know, tasks, organization, all that good stuff. And sometimes you just want the ability to type this out and not have distractions. And that's where this comes in to typing without distractions. This is ink black. It's for the Remarkable 2. Um, you do need to update your Remarkable to the latest OS to support this Typefolio accessory. Um, so that was pretty painless. Um, once I did that, it did see it and configured it very easily. And it says, take focus notes, keep your Remarkable safe with Typefolio. Um, so it also adds a layer of protection because it's kind of in a nice little folio cover. And it says Remarkable 2 and Marker Plus sold separately. Obviously, this is just the Typefolio case. Snaps into place, no charge cables, perfectly designed to protect your paper tablet. Three positions for focus typing, reading, and writing. And again, what's in the box is the Typefolio RM810. And these guys are out of Norway. This is 100% recyclable. So be sure when you're completed, you recycle it. This is the original folio. Uh, that I actually purchased and as you can see it's got a nice kind of microfiber lining and this is what I was using basically before the Typefolio to basically protect my tablet and give it kind of a notebook feel. So that now is going to be gathering dust because what we've done is upgraded the latest software and then Make sure that your Remarkable 2 is turned on, connected to Wi-Fi, and updated to the latest version. Snap your device into place, then gently lift the side tabs and push your tablet back to reveal the keyboard. And again, we've got three different ways to view. Basically a flat, kind of an angled, like a laptop, and then kind of like a uh, laid-back version here that would uh, be interesting to see what they call that position. Um, it's pretty relaxed, right? I, I don't know if that would probably be my least used position right there. And this is kind of a quick start guide, so it's just that. All right, enough talk, right? So here's the folio. It's got a little branding down here. Um, I still have my, my pen, my pencil, whatever you want to call it. And it still sticks magnetically to the side of the tablet. So then basically you pop this open. And the way it actually sticks in here, so let's go ahead and take the pen off is it just basically snaps into place here. So I'm just going to take the tablet off. So this is the Remarkable without any protection. So you're definitely going to want the protection. So again, it just snaps into place. Pretty painstakingly easy. And then we're just going to lift it up. And we'll have that basic setup here. And once you turn this on, you can see he says it's sleeping. We power it up, and now it rotates correctly uh, based on how you've got this. And now you can start typing away. And let's just bring up Quick Sheets. And we just want text. So let's just test this out, right? Here you go. Now, you can already see some of the keys are in a little bit different places. It takes a little getting used to. The backspace is a small little 
backspace, right? So I naturally hit right here, wasn't the backspace. So again, it's gonna take a little getting used to. Here is a test, you can kind of hear the, the quietness. Not bad. So instead of doing the writing, which you can, you can switch back and forth and just write. Again, it feels like paper. Challenged OCR. Yeah, right. It'll never get that. But that is behind the camera, you know, trying to write. So anyway, um, very, very cool little situation there with the, with the keyboard um, and how you can do it. Again, you can just fold this up. Here's kind of the, like I said, this is kind of the laptop approach right there. There we put a little pin there. Boom. Um, again, you can lay it flat like this. And then it kind of goes into its own little, like, hey, you kind of stash the keyboard. So we go into a vertical mode. And we'll just go back to thin on the stroke. There we go. Um, so you've got that way to do it. And then let's see if we can get to that other crazy setup here um, where it was. Gosh, can I even get that way? Oh yeah, there it is. Like that. That's kind of nuts. We can push this back just a little bit so the whole... I mean, that's not horrible. It's it's kind of unique. Um, if you wanted to do more pin strokes when you're doing this kind of stuff, you could probably do that a little bit better. Uh, we'll do text versus template. Player one. Oh, we just want to shut that off. And then we can come here and we can type text. You can see I'm actually typing under my text. So there's layers. Um, I actually clicked that down here to create a layer. And now I've got writing on top of typing. Let's go ahead and enter a couple times and now go down here. You can control the size. Obviously, uh, if you don't want large text or you want larger, you want smaller, you can change all of that. Again, this is in the template of... Uh, day so this is kind of your activities and stuff like that but uh, you know overall I would say this is a very very kick butt typing solution for uh, the Remarkable 2 um, other e-ink tablets that are out there are coming out with very similar things so they needed to keep up the, uh, the competitiveness and the competition to keep their tablet relevant and have a uh, type folio option as well so if you're looking for taking your Remarkable 2 experience up a notch, I would recommend the Type Folio. Um, just to, gives you that option to type and well as write. So for me, it is something that I wanted to pick up. Uh, I did buy this with my own money. Disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video at all. Um, and if you're looking to get into the Remarkable, in the, in the e-ink world, those tablets, there's several out there. Remarkable is an awesome solution. I'm going to tell you, you can actually sync this with the cloud. Uh, and it, you can actually use it across multiple devices. I can see whatever I do here on my app on my phone. I can see whatever I do here on my MacBook. I can actually do stuff on my MacBook and it'll show up on here. So it's got a nice sync solution out there. Um, I'll put a little card up here to the original review of the Remarkable 2 tablet. Since then, they've had several updates to their software and they have just continued to make it better and better. So, I can't say anything really negative about the Remarkable 2. Battery life is great, and now I've got this option for a type folio as well. Um, all my notes I've been doing on this, I don't use paper anymore, unless I really want to go back to that nostalgia feel. I do have like a leather bound folio or journal that I can use and write, and uh, a nice pen too. You know, you don't want to get rid of that, but this is where I go to for the most part to do a lot of my notes and stuff like that and my daily activities and, and goods. So check the show notes. I'll have a link um, for the type folio, the Remarkable 2, uh, even if they still have this as an accessory, which I think they do. Um, check them out. Highly recommend them. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the show. And as always, thanks for watching and have a good one.